Hola and welcome to Pro Spanish. A quick reminder before we start that all of the lessons on this channel are standalone lessons. And if you want the full structured levels one to six course, then you need to head over to prospanish.co.uk. That's after this video, of course. So let's get started straight away. Our more advanced subscribers, you may wish to head over to the time frame that comes up on the screen now, or you can just stick with us for some extra practice. And just before I present the main language for this video, I just want to show you something that's very useful, but also very easy to learn. So let's take the word practicar to practice. Nice and easy. Practicar to practice. What do you think practicar español means? Practicar español. To practice Spanish. Nice and easy. To practice Spanish. So to practice practicar, practicar. And if we want to say we'll practice, so we'll practice later, we'll practice tomorrow, we just add hemos, practicaremos. So we just add hemos to change it to we will. Practicaremos, we'll practice. How do you think you would say we'll practice Spanish? Practicaremos español. Practicaremos español. And it works with other verbs. So, to invite, invitar, invitar, to invite. We will invite would be invitaremos, invitaremos. And you'll notice that the letter V is pronounced like a B. Invitar, invitaremos. And that's always the case in Spanish. The letter V is pronounced as a B. Okay, we'll have a look at the main language now and we'll come back to this we will. It's important to note that you don't have to try to memorize anything in this lesson. You'll just retain it naturally as the lesson goes on. And you'll also find that this really is the fastest way that you can learn Spanish. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So, practicar español, we just saw that, nice and easy, to practice Spanish. Practicar español. And we also just saw that if we want to say, we will practice Spanish, we'll just add hemos, practicaremos español. So, straightforward, we've done that. To book a table, well, you can see that it looks like to reserve a table. So, to book a table, to reserve a table reservar una mesa. And you remember what I said about the letter V being pronounced like a B, a B. Reservar. Reservar una mesa to book a table. And what do you think it would be for we'll book a table? We'll book a table this afternoon. What would that be for we'll book or we'll reserve? Just add the hemos, reservaremos, reservaremos una mesa, we'll reserve a table. Next, to go to the supermarket, the word for to go is very short, two letters just like the word go, ir, ir is to go, ir al supermercado, to go to the supermarket. I wonder if you can guess what to go to the market would be. Ir al mercado. So if you've got supermarket, you've got the word market in there. And the same with supermercado. So ir al mercado is to go to the market. And then we've got to go to school. It kind of works out as to go to the school. Ir al Colegio. Ir al colegio. To go to school. And then another to go. Ir al hospital. Ir al hospital. To go to the hospital. And how would you say we will go? We'll go to the supermarket later. Or we'll go to school. What's we'll go? We will go. We just add the hemos, iremos, 
Iremos al supermercado. We'll go to the supermarket. How would you say, we'll go to hospital, we'll go to the hospital. Iremos al hospital. Iremos al hospital. Okay, to have a drink next. Well, to have a drink in Spanish is to take something. To take something. Tomar algo. Tomar algo, to have a drink. To take something. How would you say, we'll have a drink? Tomaremos algo. Tomaremos algo. And next we have to finish. To finish. And it looks like to terminate. Terminar. Terminar to finish. How would you say to finish something? Do you remember where we had something? Well, we said to have a drink is to take something. So, algo is something. So, to finish something is terminar algo. Terminar algo. To finish something. And finally, we have volver, which looks a little bit like revolve, which goes around and comes back. So, volver is to return. Or, in English, we would more likely say to come back or to go back rather than say, I'm going to return later. We'd say, I'm going to come back later. So, volver, and you can hear the two Bs in there rather than the two Vs. Volver, to return. How would you say, we'll come back, like we'll return, what would that be? Volveremos. Volveremos. We just add the emos. And we'll just take a quick pause there while I mention our very popular Levels 1 to 6 course. This takes the complete beginner or a near beginner right up to a conversational level of Spanish in a series of very easy to follow steps. All the lessons on this YouTube channel are supplementary, whereas the core Levels 1 to 6 is very much a step-by-step -step program delivered by the same teacher as all the other videos on the Pro Spanish YouTube channel. And while the style is very similar to what you'll be used to from these videos on the channel, the key difference is that every lesson carefully builds on the previous lessons so that you can really feel that progress of going from very little or no Spanish up to a level where you can confidently hold a conversation in Spanish. So again, that's available exclusively from prospanish.co.uk. Okay, let's have a look at our first column now. And this will be how our sentences start. And again, don't try to force yourself to memorize this. Just go with the flow. So we're going to do this in pairs and it's going to be I and you. So if you look at quiero, I want, quieres, you want. So quiero, I want, and quieres, you want. Now in Spanish, to ask the question, do you, it's just the same as you. So if I want to say to somebody, do you want a drink? I will just say, you want a drink? If I want to say, do you want something? I can just say, you want something? And remember, something was algo. So, you want something? ¿Quieres algo? Do you want something? ¿Quieres algo? So, you want and do you want just the same. So, look at it, those two. What do you think this means? Quiero tomar algo. Quiero tomar algo. I want to have a drink or I want a drink. How about this question? ¿Quieres practicar español? ¿Quieres practicar español? 
Do you want to practice Spanish? Okay, our next two are I can and you can. So puedo, I can, and you can is puedes, puedes. And if we want to ask a question, can you, or can I for that matter, it's exactly the same. So, puedes ir al colegio. You can go to school. But if I want to ask, can you? Let's say, can you come back? Puedes volver? Can you come back? Puedes volver? Just your voice rises at the end. Okay, looking at those two. Puedo, I can, and puedes, you can. What does this mean? Puedo terminar. Puedo terminar. I can finish. How about... Puedes ir al supermercado? Puedes ir al supermercado? Can you go to the supermarket? And we saw earlier, to make a negative, we just put no beforehand. So, what would this mean? No puedo volver. No puedo volver. I can't come back. I can't return. What about... No puedes ir al colegio. So maybe the person's ill. No puedes ir al colegio. You can't go to school. Okay, now down to our next two. I should and you should. Really easy. Debería, I should. And we just add an S for you should. And if you notice, if you scan all the way down, all of the you do something, they all end in an S. So debería, I should. Deberías, you should. What does this mean? Debería practicar español. I should practice Spanish. How about... Deberías ir al hospital. Deberías ir al hospital. You should go to the hospital. And let's look at our final two. So, I have to is tengo que. So, I have is tengo. But if we want to say I must or I have to, it's tengo que. And the same applies for you have to. So, you have is tienes. You have to, tienes que. What does this mean? Tengo que terminar. Tengo que terminar. I have to finish. I have to finish. How about... Tienes que practicar español. Tienes que practicar español. You have to practice Spanish. And let's have a look at the final column. So this is straightforward. First is primero. Primero. Nice and easy. Primero. And this afternoon is esta tarde. Esta tarde. So the afternoon is the tarde and esta this. Esta tarde. This afternoon. So what would it mean to say, just looking at the final two columns. Ir al colegio esta tarde. To go to school this afternoon. How about... Tomar algo primero. To have a drink first. Actually, let's change it to we will. What does this mean? Tomaremos algo primero. 
we'll have a drink first. And the next one is very useful. As soon as possible. Kind of works out a bit more like the before. Antes is before. The before possible. Lo antes posible. Lo antes posible. As soon as possible. How would you say We'll book a table as soon as possible. We will book a table as soon as possible. What would that be? Reservaremos una mesa lo antes posible. So to book a table, reservar una mesa, but we're going to change it to we'll book a table. We will book a table. Reservaremos Una mesa lo antes posible. And next we have with and without. So, con Andrés, with Andrés, and without María, sin María. So, con, with, and sin, without. Con Andrés, sin María. How would you say We'll have a drink without Maria. Tomaremos algo sin Maria. Tomaremos algo sin Maria. How about we'll come back with Andres? What would that be? Volveremos. Con Andrés. Volveremos con Andrés. So you should be encouraged already by just how quickly it's possible to learn Spanish. So have a look at the three columns now. And I'm going to give you some Spanish sentences. And you need to work out what's being said. Okay, so I'll start. I'll go left to right. What does this mean? Quiero volver lo antes posible. Quiero volver lo antes posible. I want to come back as soon as possible. How about... Tengo que ir al hospital esta tarde. Tengo que ir al hospital esta tarde. I have to go to hospital this afternoon. What about Deberías reservar una mesa lo antes posible. Deberías reservar una mesa lo antes posible. You should book a table as soon as possible. How about this question? ¿Quieres volver Con Andrés. ¿Quieres volver con Andrés? Do you want to come back with Andrés? How about... ¿Puedes practicar español con Andrés? ¿Puedes practicar español con Andrés? Can you practice Spanish with Andres? How about this long one? A little bit mixed up, but see if you can work out what's being said. No puedo ir al supermercado esta tarde. Tengo que terminar algo. Listen again. No puedo ir al supermercado esta tarde. Tengo que terminar algo. Okay, so that last bit's a bit cheeky because I stole the algo, the something, from to have a drink, to take something. So the phrase was, I can't go to the supermarket this afternoon. I have to finish something. Okay, we'll use some listening and speaking pyramids now. Uh, the system's unique to Pro Spanish. So we start at the top. Have a listen. Tomaremos algo. Tomaremos algo. Tomaremos algo. 
Okay, so tomaremos algo, and that meant we'll have a drink. Tomaremos algo. So we're going to build on this now. Tomaremos algo con María. Tomaremos algo con María. Tomaremos algo con María. Tomaremos algo con María. We'll have a drink with María. Next line. Tomaremos algo con María esta tarde. Tomaremos algo con María esta tarde. Tomaremos algo con María esta tarde. So, tomaremos algo con María esta tarde. Meaning, we'll have a drink with María this afternoon. So you can see how useful this is to tune your ear to fast Spanish, but also we can use it for our pronunciation. So we could just click on, well, any of these here. So let's click on the microphone for this line here. And tomaremos algo con María. And that's perfect. So we can just check like that. We'll see how to do some more extensive speaking practice with this in a second. Let's go on to our next pyramid. Okay, so we'll start at the top, have a listen, and we can play it as many times as we want. Then we can show the Spanish and the English. Debería. 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 So, debería. Can you remember debería? Debería. I should. Debería. Let's build on that. Debería ir al supermercado. Debería ir al supermercado. Debería ir al supermercado. I should go to the supermarket. Next. Debería ir al supermercado esta tarde. Debería ir al supermercado esta tarde. Debería ir al supermercado esta tarde. I should go to the supermarket this afternoon. And we can just play that again now that we've got the text. Debería ir al supermercado esta tarde. Debería ir al supermercado esta tarde. Ok, let's go to our final one. Ok, so a bit longer. Start at the top again. No puedo. No puedo. No puedo. No puedo. Meaning, I can't. No puedo. No puedo volver. No puedo volver. No puedo volver. No puedo volver. I can't go back or I can't return. No puedo volver esta tarde. 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 I can't go back this afternoon. No puedo volver esta tarde. Tengo que. No puedo volver esta tarde. Tengo que. No puedo volver esta tarde. Tengo que. So we've got no puedo volver esta tarde and added on to it tengo que. I can't go back. I can't return this afternoon. I have to. And let's see what I have to do. No puedo volver esta tarde. Tengo que terminar algo. No puedo volver esta tarde. Tengo que terminar algo. No puedo volver esta tarde. Tengo que terminar algo. No puedo volver esta tarde. Tengo que terminar algo. I can't go back this afternoon. I have to finish something. We can play that again. No puedo volver esta tarde. Tengo que terminar algo. Okay. And we can do some speaking practice. So we can we can start at the top and just work our way down. Or we could start halfway and work our way down. Let's start at the top. So I click the microphone. The English text appears and we have to say the Spanish. No puedo. Okay, that's fine. No puedo volver. Okay, that's good. And a reminder that there are 600 of these included in the all-in-one pro-Spanish course. So let's get down to the next one. No puedo volver esta tarde. Perfect. Next one. No puedo volver esta tarde. Tengo que... Ok. 
Okay. Down to the final one. No puedo volver esta tarde. Tengo que terminar algo. Okay, and that's done. Okay, so you can see how this is a real game changer in terms of improving your listening skills, your ability to understand fast Spanish, but also your ability to produce Spanish, conversational Spanish, that is. Okay, now it's your turn to do some speaking. How would you say, I want to practice Spanish first? What would that be? Quiero practicar español primero. Quiero practicar español primero. How would you say, You should have a drink with Maria. You should have a drink with Maria. Deberías tomar algo con Maria. Deberías tomar algo con Maria. Okay, that's a bit naughty there. I swapped around the names. How would you say, I have to go to school this afternoon. Tengo que ir al colegio esta tarde. Tengo que ir al colegio esta tarde. How about, I can't come back this afternoon. No puedo volver esta tarde. No puedo volver esta tarde. And you could add on to that. We'll have a drink as soon as possible. How would you say that? We will have a drink as soon as possible. Tomaremos algo lo antes posible. Tomaremos algo lo antes posible. How would you say? I should go to the supermarket first. Debería ir al supermercado primero. Debería ir al supermercado primero. How about, we won't go to school without Maria. So think of, we will go to school without Maria, but just put no at the beginning. So what would that be? We won't go to school without Maria. No iremos al colegio sin María. No iremos al colegio sin María. So you can see just how quickly and easily you can learn Spanish. And before we move on to the more advanced part of this lesson, a reminder that the Levels 1 to 6 course, that's the structured progressive course that's not available on this channel, well, it is available for download from prospanish.co.uk. So if you have a look at the advanced table here, uh, you can see that a lot of the language has been kept, but it's been kind of switched around a little bit. So the final column is the same, the primero, esta tarde, etc. And in the first column, we have me dijo que, he told me or she told me that, but you'll see in a minute, it's actually going to work out as he told me to do something. The same applies to me pidió que. He or she asked me that. But if we were saying it in English, we would say he or she asked me to pick up something rather than he or she asked me that I pick up something. So, me pidió que, quería que, he or she wanted that. And again, in English it would be, he or she wanted me to do something. And 
insistió en que. He or she insisted that. Kind of works out insisted on that, but in English we would just say he or she insisted. And in Spanish, when somebody is getting somebody else to do something, they're telling them to do something, they are advising or insisting or wanting somebody to do something, that will always trigger the subjunctive. And because we're starting off in the past, so we're saying he or she told me, he or she asked me, he or she wanted, he or she insisted, then we have to follow with the past subjunctive called the imperfect subjunctive. And I'm not going to spend a long time on the form of the subjunctive here, of the imperfect subjunctive. If you search my channel for subjunctive, you'll find a longer video on that. But as it's quite straightforward, here's a quick explanation. So you take the third person plural, they, the preterite, so the past, they, for example, if you have practicar, they practiced would be practicaron. So you take that as your starting point. That ron in practicaron, you take the ron off and add ra, ra. And you have practicara. So I practiced Spanish subjunctive in the past. And you can do that with all of the verbs, including the irregular verbs. It works out the same. So if you're going to say, for example, one that's not on here, but I had in the subjunctive, so imperfect subjunctive, I had, well, you'd start off with they had, tuvieron, tuvieron. You take off the ron and add ra, and you'd have tuviera. Tuviera is I had subjunctive in the, the past subjunctive. But as I said, that, that isn't the focus. That's just a quick explanation because it's quite straightforward. Okay, so we have practicara español. I practiced Spanish, but the imperfect subjunctive. Reservara una mesa. I booked a table. Fuera al supermercado. I went to the supermarket. Fuera al colegio. I went to school. Fuera al hospital. I went to the hospital. I went to hospital. Tomar algo. I had a drink. Terminara. I finished. Volviera. I returned. If we were to translate the sentences going across, we wouldn't actually have I practiced. So, for example, me dijo que practicara español. He told me that I practiced Spanish first. Doesn't make much sense in English. We would say he told me to practice Spanish first. So let's get on with practicing that. Work out what these sentences mean. Me dijo que fuera al colegio con Andrés. Me dijo que fuera al colegio con Andrés. He told me to go to school with Andrés. He told me that I go to school or I went to school with Andrés. Insistió en que volviera lo antes posible. Insistió en que volviera lo antes posible. He insisted that I return, that I come back as quickly as possible, as soon as possible. Uh, we might also say, he insisted on me coming back. What about this one? Quería que practicara español con Andrés. Quería que practicara español con Andrés. He wanted me to practice Spanish with Andrés. And how about this one? Me pidió que no fuera 
al colegio esta tarde. Me pidió que no fuera al colegio esta tarde. He asked me not to go to school this afternoon. Okay, let's swap around and you do the talking. How would you say? He told me to book a table as soon as possible. Me dijo que reservara una mesa lo antes posible. Me dijo que reservara una mesa lo antes posible. And how about? He wanted me to come back without Maria. Quería que volviera sin María. Quería que volviera sin María. How about? He insisted that I go to hospital as soon as possible. Insistió en que fuera al hospital lo antes posible. Insistió en que fuera al hospital lo antes posible. And what about? He asked me to finish something this afternoon. Me pidió que terminara algo esta tarde. Me pidió que terminara algo esta tarde. And how about this one with a negative? He told me not to come back without Maria. Me dijo que no volviera sin María. Me dijo que no volviera sin María. And that concludes today's Pro Spanish lesson. As mentioned earlier, if you're looking to become a confident and a competent speaker of Spanish, head over to prospanish.co.uk where you can download the full Levels 1 to 6 course.